to determine how many units we need to produce. And we came up with this 19586 for July. And that's where we're going to start for the direct labor budget for July. And we're going to do that same process. I could copy it across, but I'm going to just point to it for August so that we could see exactly where it's coming from a few different times. So it's going to be coming from the production budget for August in this case. I'm going to hit tab. So there's that number, the 20,000. And then in September, the production, uh, the direct labor budget, we're taking this number from the production budget being the 20,500 units that we will be producing. Then, of course, what are we going to need to know in order to determine our budget for labor? We're going to need how many hours does it take to create one unit? And note that uh, there are some conversion problems. Sometimes we pay people generally hourly. If a problem gives you minutes, <laughs> then uh, you're going to have to convert to hours most likely. And note that that conversion can be a little bit trickier than you would think because, uh, you know, there's 60 minutes in an hour and whatnot. So just if, you, if your problem happens to have minutes in it and doesn't give you hours but gives you an hourly rate, just make sure that you're going to have to perform that conversion. Here, we're saying that the uh, labor hours required to finish a, a unit are 0.5 or half an hour. So it's going to take 0.5 uh, hours to make uh, a unit. And therefore, we're just going to say 0.5 here and 0.5 and 0.5. That's how, many, that's how much time it's going to take uh, in order to create, uh, make the units. Therefore, we're going to take the 19,586 times the 0.5 and enter. So that means that it's going to take 9,793. Now, again, you might want to ask, well, where are they going to come up with the 0.5? Obviously, a problem like this would have to give you the 0.5. Uh, in real life, we would come up with, with some type of estimates on how long it would take to create one individual unit. And I, and there's going to be different theories on terms of how we'll come up with that number at, at a later time. Um, but a problem like this will generally give you that number. So we'll multiply that out for August. This is how many uh, units we need to produce times. It's going to take 0.5 hours per unit and tab. And then for September, we're going to take 20,500. Uh, units times 0.5 per unit. So we now have the number of hours it's going to take.